Hello, 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 and welcome. My name is Kagan, and this is going to be a tutorial on the new WebSocket uh, throw, drop, and food commands, uh, which you can use in any WebSocket interface that you use for VTuber Plus, or my Lear Board 2 uh, extension that connects to VTuber Plus. Uh, I'll, sh I'll go over that later. Um, but in uh, VTuber Plus version 3.5.1 and beyond, uh, the WebSocket commands for throw, drop, and food items have ch changed. If you are using these commands, uh, they no longer work. They will do nothing. That's why they are in red up here. Uh, but with the changes to the commands, you can now select specific items to throw, drop, food, feed yourself with. Uh, and that means you can do a lot of fun stuff with the web sockets. So let's go over how to do that. If you are here just to find out how to replace your uh, current web sockets, uh, web socket commands with the matching thing from before, uh, I have here a quick list of replacement commands and the parameters. Uh, that you can paste into your Board 2 with my extension or whichever WebSocket uh, client you are, or connection you are using. Uh, this will be down in the description for easy copy pasting. Uh, where is my pointer? Pointer! Where are you? There you are. Um, so if you want to replace a throw all, uh, you want to throw any item uh, from your default or custom items, you use this. If you just want custom items, you use this. Same for drops and food. Uh, by default, uh, thrown items do one damage each. Drop should do one damage each too. Uh, I'll fix this in the description. This should also be doing one. And food will not do any damage at all. All right, now I'll go and explain in more detail how the new commands are structured. Let's see. Na, 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 na. Let's start with throw items. Throw items are a bit more complex, as you can see. And get our up pointer as well. There you go. So, uh, throw items. The command is now this. We have the command at the start, VTP throw. Uh, remember, capitalization is important. It must start with a capital T before throw. You cannot use all caps or all lowercase. This first command here, or, or, or this first parameter here, uh, is how many extra items it will throw. So let me go over to VTuber Plus. I'll show the UI. At the right side, which is off screen for the video, you click the rewards button and you get this one. You get this nice window. And it should be familiar if you, uh, if you have used VTuber Plus a bit. So. This first one is how many extra items it throws, which corresponds to this one. Uh, here, item count will be one. Uh, but for the WebSocket command, it will always throw one item. So if you set this to one, it will throw two items. You set this to four, it will throw five items. So keep that in mind. This is always plus one for the uh, how many items to throw parameter. Second parameter here is the items parameter, the default items parameter, which corresponds to this list here. I will go over more detail with the lists, uh, how to how to select what from the list. Uh, I'm just going through the structure of the command for now. This command, or this parameter, the, the uh, third number in the uh, parameters corresponds to this list here. So if I go custom only from the items list up here, uh, this one activates and then we have a list of items. These are all, these are all my custom items and I'm gonna be adding more. I have a lot of them, but yeah. So this third number, corresponds to this list here in uh, VTuber Plus. 
Now, the last number here is damage, which is down here. So 0 to 100, your avatar has 100 health usually. Uh, yeah. If you want the item to do, say, 1 damage, you change this number to a 1. 25, 25 damage, you change that to 25. This damage is for each item. So if you throw 5 items uh, with 1 damage, it will do 5 damage overall. Uh, if you have 10 items with 10 damage, that's 100 damage. That's going to take... It's going to ragdoll your avatar if you have that activated. So, that is the structure of the uh, VTP throw command. Now, we'll go into how the lists work for the second and third numbers, because that is important. All right, Pointer, we don't need you for the moment. Thank you. All right. So, the throw item index. This index is for... Is corresponds to the, the second line here, the items. If we do the drop down, let me select the first one. So, give me a sec. Uh, da, 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 da. Grab that real quick and move you. So we move that down here. So we move that up here. So, this second number is this line, items, the items list. We drop it down, you can see it matches up here. If you want to throw a random default item, you put a negative one in this spot like I have here. So it will choose one of the uh, default items that are that come with the VTuber Plus, which is the tennis ball, beach ball, slipper, banana, toy duck, and toy bone. But if you want to throw a specific item, uh, you need to select their number. Uh, lists and arrays and such in programming always start at, usually start at zero. Uh, sometimes that's not the case, but most of the time they will start at zero. So the tennis ball is the first one in this list. The uh, random default is not going to be shown on this list up here. So the tennis ball is zero. And we count count up from there. Zero, one, two, three. So the th the number three item is the banana, like I see show here, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. If you want a random item from both uh, from either the default list or your custom list, you choose seven. So turn this number to a seven, and it will choose a random item from either set. So I have a ball, I have a commuter monitor, I have um, I have corn that gets thrown. Uh, it'll choose one of those or one of these if you select seven. If you want a custom item only, like you want to choose only one of your custom items or a random from your custom items only, you put an eight in this spot. So eight is custom item only. We bring up the uh, and the uh, custom item list or custom item index, I should say, which is the third number here, is a whole heck of a lot simpler, as you can see here. So if we pull up the drop down for uh, custom items, you see it'll have all of these. Uh, negative one, just like in this one, means a random item only. So, but here it'd be just a random custom item only from my li from your list. Uh, like I have a ball, computer, mouse, a ferret, an eggplant, etc., etc. And though that list corresponds to a number zero or higher. Again, reminder: lists here start at zero and not one. So the ball is my zero item. A computer mouse is a one is a number one, and then, et cetera, et cetera. What you might want to do going forward, if you are const if you are if you regularly add new items to your custom list and you don't want to go through your web sockets and update them each time until uh, 
item groups are added, which is coming soon, uh, quote unquote soon. Uh, you can go and name these starting with a number because this list here is alphabetical on the files. So if I put uh, three ball and one computer mouse, the computer mouse will be first because it is a one. So if you number all these files in your in your folder for custom items, uh, they will stay that number unless you add like a unless you add like some in between number. But if you just go with simple whole numbers, one, two, three, four, five, they'll stay in that position. Uh, I still need to do that uh, before I start my stream today. But anyways, that is the throw item uh, command. Drop and food have slightly smaller, have slightly simpler commands. Uh, you cannot choose the number of items you drop or throw, so you do not need to worry about that command. So we don't even need to talk about that. Uh, you only have three numbers. The first number is, again, like the drop, it would be this list, the item list here. The second number would be your custom item list here. Custom items. And the third number is, like before, damage, which is down here. Uh, a little tip. Uh, it is mentioned down here, but it's very easy to mix because it's, it's small text. It's uh, uh, There's a lot to take in here. If you put a negative value for your damage on a thrown, dropped, or a food item, it will instead heal you uh, when the item hits you, if it's a dropped or thrown item, or when you eat it when it is a food item. So that is a way you can, with selecting specific items, have them heal you. Uh, give yourself a health potion to eat, or have, the, have your chat throw it at you to heal you. All right. Quickly go through the drop and food item indexes. So the drop item, it's simple like the other one, like like the throw item. Uh, go over here. Uh, negative one is a random default item. Zero, starting the list at zero. Uh, goes down this list. The box is zero, the pie is one, the sombrero is two, etc. If you want a random default or custom item, you go with five. And if you want a only custom item, whether it's a specific custom item or a random custom item, you choose six. Same with the food item index. Uh, negative one is a random default one. Zero is an apple, one is a banana, two is a cookie. Uh, if you want a random item from custom or default items, you do six. And if you want a custom item only, seven. And uh, final reminder, the custom item index is negative one for a random item and zero plus for uh, one of your random items here. Uh, another re reminder, so I hope it sticks in your head, is lists in vtuber plus start at zero so the first item on your list up here is zero not one all right let me pop us over to the iron board it's pretty simple uh like i said these commands here will no longer work so you will need to update your web sockets and your layer board two scripts if you're using my extension you have the ui here you are in the way. So where is the iron board? So here's the iron board. You move the pointer away. We take a glance at my, say my cash redeem. Uh, I have updated it. So you have throws only one item. Uh, by default, it's only throwing a random default item for one damage. Uh, you can update that to what you need. 
but I have not updated all my scripts. So for example, my dodge script is a little more complex. So these VTP underscore throws with nothing else will not work. All we really need to do is paste that in there. Uh, I will get a, my partner and I will get around to updating the Larian War 2 extension sometime later this week or early next week. Uh, there is a business trip and a whole lot of other things taking up our real lifetime this week. Uh, so we are not quite able to update it ASAP uh, today. Uh, so, but uh, the extension is perfectly usable. It just does not have a quick insert for uh, the new throw, drop, and food commands. That's it. Or the uh, extra avatar slots. We still need to add those too. <laughs> So yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be uh, later this week or next week. Uh, but for now, you can you can just you literally can just uh, type in the new the the new the new commands like that. <laughs> anyway, it's pretty simple. All right, let me hide all of these. Thank you everybody for tuning in and uh, checking out this tutorial. I hope it was very helpful. I will make a new updated tutorial for the Lear and Board 2 extension itself once we get it updated, because there's there's a bunch of new stuff that's gonna that should be in it because there's a bunch of new stuff in uh, VTuber Plus. Uh, like, you know, toggling bloom, right? <laughs> All right. Oops. Thank you, everybody. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye now. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye.